welcome to iGrasp. If you want to succeed in life, you have to believe in yourself and challenge yourself. But most importantly, you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone. Don't be scared to try new things. You might be surprised by how much you learn. Let's begin with the news capsule. The Supreme Court of India encourages people to celebrate Diwali, but not at the cost of the environment. As we gear up for the Diwali celebrations today, we must keep in mind that the Supreme Court of India has urged that we celebrate the festival but with moderation. While bringing happiness to others with community celebrations are extremely important, these should not come at the cost of our environment. We must pledge to minimize air and noise pollution caused by firecrackers and find other eco-friendly ways for spreading joy and harmony. Think of how you can light the hours, create homemade delights, host gatherings and exchange meaningful gifts instead. Contribute to a greener and a more sustainable Diwali, one that also celebrates the planet. India enters the last round of the ICC World Cup 2023 with an unbeaten record as they continue to sit comfortably at the top of the table. India defeated Team South Africa, sitting at second position by a whopping 243 runs at Eton Gardens last Sunday after getting the entire team out for a total of 88 runs. Virat Kohli put up yet another monumental innings as he scored another century during the match and equaled Sachin Tendulkar's extraordinary record of 49 ODI centuries. India will now be playing the last group stage match against Netherlands this afternoon, followed by the first semi-final later this week. Stay tuned and don't forget to catch both these exciting matches. Last Sunday, top-ranked Novak Djokovic won a record-extending seventh title at the Paris Masters with a 6-4, 6-3 win over Grigor Dimitrov in the final. Did you know that this was also his 40th ATP Masters 1000 crown and 97th title of his career? Djokovic is just three wins away from a grand total of 100 Open Era titles with only Jimmy Connors and Roger Federer above him. We hope that he is able to hit this unbelievable milestone before the end of this year's season. Earlier this week, Grandmaster Vivid Gujarati was confirmed as the winner of the 2023 FIDE Grand Swiss after defeating Alexander Predge in one of the strongest open tournaments of all time. Did you know that the FIDE Grand Swiss is one of the events of the FIDE World Championship cycle where the top two players qualify for the 2024 Candidates Tournament? With it, we'll now be competing at the prestigious 8-player tournament next year. And we are sure that we will see some more medals come our way even then. Last week, the United Nations Environment Programme announced the winners of the 2023 Champions of the Earth. Did you know that since its inception in 2015, the annual Champions of the Earth Award has been given to trailblazers at the forefront of efforts to protect people and the planet? It is the UN's highest environmental honor and has recognized 116 laureates, 27 world leaders, 70 individuals and 19 organizations so far. This year's five champions ranged from a city mayor, a non-profit foundation, a social enterprise, a government initiative and a research council for their innovative solutions to tackle plastic pollution. We salute these heroes for their incredible work. Can you imagine an eco-friendly plastic that doesn't impact our planet? Scientists in Japan have recently developed a new version of plastic which is not just stronger and stretchier than the traditional version but also partially biodegradable. This amazing innovation self-repairs 15 times faster, regain its original shape twice as quickly and can be recycled 10 times faster than other plastics. What's most impressive is that this new plastic biodegrades safely in a marine environment, which is a fantastic step toe. Did you know that it was in 1610 that we first learned about the rings of the planet Saturn? 
This was thanks to Galileo, renowned as the pioneer of modern astronomy, who first observed these beautiful rings that are made up of comets, asteroids and moons. Fast forward to today and the marvels of Saturn's rings can be seen by anybody equipped with the basic stargazing gear. But this too has an unfortunate expiry set for 2025. While the rings are vast, they are almost as thin as paper in proportion to how far we see them from. As the planet tilts on its axis, there will be a phase where the rings will become invisible to anybody on Earth. But don't worry, because this won't be forever, as the rings will become visible a few years later, soon enough. In a groundbreaking revelation, NASA recently announced that astronomers have discovered a system of seven blazing planets called Kepler 385. What makes this discovery even more peculiar is that each one of these planets are larger than Earth and bathed in more radiant heat than any planet in our solar system. At the center of the Kepler 385 system is a sun-like star about 10% larger and 5% hotter than our very own sun. This discovery is truly an astronomical breakthrough thanks to the genius use of technology and meticulous data by the team of scientists. The universe is full of mysteries, but some stand out above the rest. Do you know what dark matter is? It is a hypothetical form of matter that does not emit or reflect any light but exerts a gravitational pull on ordinary matter. Scientists estimate that dark matter makes up about 85% of the total mass of the universe but still have no clue what it is made of or how it came to be. Dark matter was first proposed in the 1930s by a Swiss astronomer who noticed that the galaxies in a cluster were moving faster than expected and thus concluded that there must be some invisible mass that was holding this cluster together. This incredible phenomenon could hold the key to understanding the origin, evolution and the fate of the cosmos. Until then, we can only marvel at the dark side of the universe. Landmark of the Week Windsor Castle, United Kingdom is the residence of the British royal family about 35 miles west of London. It occupies 13 acres of land and stands on a cliff above the River Thames. It is the largest inhabited castle in the world. It is also home to Queen Mary's Doll's House, the largest doll's house in the world. Changing of the guard is a major highlight of a visit to Windsor. If the weather is on your side, a formidable band also accompanies the guards. The word of the week is waddle, which means to walk with short steps and a swaying motion. I love to waddle like a duck. It's a great exercise for the waist. It's time to learn some idioms and proverbs. The idiom of the week is get the show on the road, which means to get started with something. After multiple rehearsals, the band was ready to get the show on the road. The riddle of the week is what English word has three consecutive double letters? Bookkeeper. Dear eye graspers, this week let us visit perfect a place where Violet has moved. While she hates the place for its perfection, she begins to sense that something is weird about the place. Her father has disappeared and her mother's behavior is far from normal. Together with Boy, she begins to unravel the mystery lurking here. Go on this adventure with Violet and remember to share your feedback. Did you know that in the year 2008 Beijing Olympics, the 100-meter final was won by Usain Bolt with a record-breaking time of 9.69 seconds. He did this while his shoelaces were untied during the race. Unbelievable, isn't it? Quiz time! What nickname has Usain Bolt's fans given to him? Send your answers to contact us at igrasp.com along with your full name, 
स्कूल नेम एंड अ फोटोग्राफ आंसर टू द लास्ट वीक्स क्विज द एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑफ अ स्पेस सूट मेड बाय नासा इन टुडेस टाइम विल बी 83 मिलियन टू 122 मिलियन डॉलर्स This certificate of appreciation is presented to Aishwarya Chaudhary of DPS Noida for successfully participating in the weekly quiz on India's leading news capsule for tweens. I grasp. Thank you for tuning in to this week's news capsule. Remember that it is only when you push yourself beyond your own limits that you discover your true inner strength. So take up that new hobby that you have been putting off. Try and ace the subject that you are most intimidated by and push yourself to make new friends every day. That's all we have for you this week. Thank you all for watching and wish you all a very happy Diwali. See you again next week. Bye bye.